Hey, this is Donnie Smith and we're back with another Eastwood series video. We are painting a Mustang from start to finish and we're using a lot of the Eastwood products. You can learn more about Eastwood by clicking right here. Now in the previous videos, we've already done a lot of the cleaning, got it ready to start working on. And then we have removed a lot of the moldings, you know, side moldings, mirrors, door handles, things like that. Now what we got left on the car is some decals, stripes and decals. And in this video, we're going to show you how to take those off. But be sure and watch this video because we're going to show you a trick. So before we take the decals off, stripes off, we're going to put some masking paper up there and build a template. And this is a pretty simple process. You want to do this, even if you think you may leave them off, you may change your mind during the process. You know, I always like to do this just to be safe. It only takes a couple of minutes. But we laid some masking paper up there. We taped it on. Might have to hold it down a little bit. You can see the they're holding the bottom down. And now they're just going to go over the stripe and decal area with some lead. Now this is just a, a square piece of lead. We got it at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you can get them at a lot of different places. But it's just lead we're going over this stripe. This is going to highlight the stripe area. So if we decide to have them cut out, you know, at a uh, graphics place, or if we decide to lay them out by hand and cut them out, whatever we decide to do, we're going to have this template and have something to go by. And not only does this mark where the stripes are, but you can see there where the door gap's at, it kind of highlights that for you too. So it does a really good job of telling you exactly how that stripe was placed and the design of it. And you can see here they're going over the wheel well area and it marks from you know the wheel well to wheel well so that you know exactly where that was at. Okay now you can see it. Uh, I don't know how good it shows up on video but you can see exactly where the stripes are. Uh, you can see the Mustang it shows up real good so now you have a template of the decal. Now you're gonna have to do this for both sides we've got this and we're gonna roll it up and we'll do it for both sides but once you do that now you can go ahead and take off the decals because you have the template and the way we're doing that we're using heat to heat it up you heat it up that softens it up makes it much easier to get that decal off if you don't uh, heat it up sometimes it's a little bit more difficult Okay, now we put it in fast forward and we are doing the other side just to show you that, you know, each side is going to be different. And uh, we got both sides of them done. Now we've got those put up, stored, so when we need them, we'll have them. And now we can take all the stripes off. And same thing with the stripes. We're heating them up with a heat gun. You could use, there's different ways to do that. You could use like an eraser wheel or some of those tools. But uh, just a heat gun and, and peeling them off works pretty good. And it seems like that transfer most of the glue with the decal when it comes off rather than it sticking onto the car. Now regardless if you think you're going to be using those decals or not, it's always a good idea. It just takes a couple minutes to make these templates. And this will allow you to take those down to the graphic shop and have them cut out. They can cut you out more decals or they can cut you out stencils that you can use to paint. Or if you're going to lay the stripes out and cut it yourself, you know this also serves as a template for that as well. And if you don't use it, well, that's okay. It only took a couple minutes. But you do still have the stencils. Maybe you want to use it at a later time. Well, that wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.